Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so this is supposed to be a TOS Tuesday video, but uh, it's probably going to go up late Wednesday evening or so, uh, just the way things are going. But this has taken me a while to get this properly set up so that um, it can benefit you and you can see exactly what muscles are affected and how they move. And uh, I hope you learn a lot from the series. And I'm going to incorporate a lot more of these 3D models so that you can actually visualize the muscle you can see what area you need to work on and when I'm talking about a muscle you can actually see where it inserts where that muscle sits and you can focus on that muscle when you're actually doing the stretch or massage so let's dive into it I've got uh, two models up here so we're gonna start with the first one and I want to talk about the levator scapula the scapula the serratus anterior now these are the three main muscles that I've got a, quite a few videos on and a lot of people are still confused about where they sit so if we look on the model here I'm going to show you exactly where all these muscles are so here we've got the the trap muscle and you can see it's quite a big muscle not many people realize how big the trap is so when they are focusing on the trap they they basically focusing on the top area here now that's the main part of the trap but uh, you may have pain going down the middle of your back and that's probably the rhomboid which sits just underneath so you've got the two rhomboid muscles here, you've got the rhomboid minor, the rhomboid major, and these are what hold the spine and the scapula in place. So when you feel like you're getting tense and it feels like everything's pulling funny, it could be the trap that's pulling up and the rhomboid muscles that are pulling back and, and uh, causing that, that tightness. So when you're massaging, you want to focus on the rhomboids. Now you can see exactly where they are here. And there's the two, the minor and the major. And you can see it sits directly on the scapula. And if we get rid of the lat here, we can actually see the serratus anterior. Let me just grab a good angle of this. There we go. The serratus anterior sits right underneath the scapula. And as you can see, it attaches to the ribs. So all those finger-like muscles that come across sit right on these ribs all the way down and you can see it attaches right underneath the chest let's just get rid of the chest as well this is the pec major if we get rid of that we can see the pec minor so you can see all these videos that I've been doing are all related now there's a lot of people that are still sending me questions and saying they either don't know where the muscle is or they're going straight to the doctors and the doctors giving the pec minor release you don't have to go get surgery straight away. If you're not doing physical therapy, if you're not doing a whole bunch of things before you're getting diagnosed, then that doctor is obviously not trying to help you straight away if they're not suggesting that. Obviously, if you go for scans, MRIs, and, and sonars, etc., and they see scar tissue and it's blocking off veins and arteries, then sure. But if you've got some issues with tightness that's affecting your TOS and making it worse, there are a lot of steps to take before actually getting the surgery. So here we can see the pec minor, and this is also a huge problem with people with TOS. And you can see that it goes right from the top all the way down onto your ribs, and you can almost see how that can affect the tightness in your chest and pull on your ribs. Now if you've got round forward shoulders, let me just get a better angle, your shoulders pull forward, and everything pulls tight because of this pec minor. So it pulls forward and it pulls down because of where it attaches to the, to the ribs. So the pec and the serratus anterior, you can see how they affect a lot of the movement within the shoulder joint. Now if we go to this next model, and we can actually see how the serratus anterior is attached to the ribs, and you can see it's quite a big muscle and it sits right under the scapula and it attaches to all the different ribs so if you're lifting up and you've got that tightness and you feel it all the way down your side it's more than likely your serratus anterior because that controls the movement and the raising of your arm and you can see how it affects all the muscles all the way down so let's just get this model moving and you can see how everything stretches up here so when you're lifting your arm and you've got a tight serratus anterior you can actually see how it gets tight at the top of that movement. So that's why it's crucial to get that serratus anterior loosened up 
and get more mobility because that's going to really take the pressure off and help you move your arm better whereas the pec minor if you get that loose it's going to take the pressure off your whole shoulder joint and keep everything balanced so if it's pulling tight everything's rounded forward and it's just going to cause you a lot more problems so you can visualize where that muscle is now you can see the serratus anterior how it attaches from the underneath your scapula all the way down your ribs and it's a big muscle to work on so i do have a video on the serratus anterior i'll link it down below uh, i've got videos on the wing scapula that i'll link and you can just work on these muscles now and you can visualize it as you're watching the movement you can see where that muscle is and the more you know about the anatomy the more you know where these muscles sit you can go back to my other videos and you can actually massage like your pec minor you can come in straight from the side now and you can push in there and you can actually feel that tightness and you'll probably feel a very tender area and now that you can see where it is let's just go back here to the pec minor so you can actually visualize it now that you can see where it is you can massage you can do a trigger point therapy a whole lot better and when you get a pain in a certain area you can think about where that muscle is and where that pain is coming from and you can probably establish where the pain originates so which attachment point that muscle attaches to and where that pain is coming from exactly so you can see here on the diagram if you're coming from the side you can get to that pec minor and you can loosen it up and loosening it up in this whole area will roll your shoulders back you'll get a better posture and you'll have a lot of stress taken off your whole back and your shoulder and your whole thoracic area so these are just a few muscles to work on but they are very important muscles and now that you can see it and visualize it and see how it rotates and and moves along with the muscle you can go back to the other videos and you can start massaging and start feeling a whole lot better yourself and also if you go to the doctors you can now see where your pain is coming from and you can explain what you think may be the problem and just help them with your diagnosis if you're still struggling to get diagnosed so i hope this helps you i'm going to do a lot more of these kind of videos and i'm going to go in depth than i have now i just want to set them up a bit better but uh, i thought let me get this video out and uh, you can start working on those problem areas already and uh, it's definitely going to give you some uh, relief so i will see you guys soon 